Hi guys, Shanice here from Pink Sugar Shop, Pink Sugar School, and Party Mavens. Like and subscribe to see all of my videos. Let's get started. Okay, so a couple of years ago in about 2016, I started making these candy bar purses. Um, I needed a really cute party favor for my birthday and um, I saw something on Pinterest that grabbed my eye and thought I could recreate it. So that's how this was born. I did a live on Periscope showing everyone how I created them. So I thought I would do the tutorial all over again for my YouTube viewers. So I'm going to show you from start to finish everything you need to create these candy bar purses and how I do them. So a few things first. I do teach party favors using Photoshop. So I have a special template in Photoshop for creating candy bar favors. I will put the link below. So if you need a template, you can go there. So you would really just need to design it, pick a purse that you like. Um, you can make your own purse using different elements. And once you've got it all created and printed out, you're just gonna go ahead and um, slice it and get started. So what I'm doing is I'm just finding the line where, cause I joined them together so I could save me some time on cutting. So I'm just finding the line where they um, split in the middle and I'm just gonna place across and get this all cut out. So now that we have those all cut out, they're gonna look like this. And um, I'm just gonna put these on the side because now we're gonna wrap our candy bars with foil. Now this step is not necessary. It's definitely optional, but I think it gives it a nice luxurious look. And um, it just finishes it off a little bit. I'm going to take one of my candy bars out over here. If you can see, this is how the Hershey Milk Chocolate 1.55 ounce um, candy bars come. But my design is pink and gold. So if I were to wrap my bar with this, I would have silver on the edges and it kind of just clashes. So I'm going to wrap my bars in gold today and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it so you guys can have this exact look if you want to. So be right back. Okay, so I'm back. This is the foil that I use to wrap my candy bars. It is by Foil Man and I get it off of Amazon. I will drop the link below for you to uh, go directly there if you want to purchase these. And he has every single color. I have a ton of colors. I have gold, black, silver, red, blue. I just keep them on stock just in case. So you're just gonna take, want to take a piece of foil out <clears throat> and sometimes the first one is a little wrinkled so I'm just going to put that to the side. Okay so the foil comes like this and it's already pre-cut for you so you don't have to worry about anything. What you want to do is have some tape handy. So I'm just going to grab my tape dispenser and put it here. I actually like to uh, pre-cut a few pieces of tape and place them just like on the edge of my desk or, or something. So um, I have them cut already and ready to go. So after you do that, you're just gonna take your bar and I like to fold these edges in so that I have a little more wiggle room um, when I'm folding. So from there, I place it directly in the center and then I just fold over. And you wanna make sure you can feel with your hands that everything's nice and snug. So um, you'll know, like, you know, you don't want it loose and uh, moving around in there. And because we folded in the bar, you can come in really um, tight on these. <clears throat> so you're gonna fold both of your corners in and then you're gonna kinda make little indents where the uh, bar stops. So now you have that takes a little bit of fancy finger work, <laughs> but I mean, the end result is just beautiful. So now that we have it folded in and we have our indents, 
we're going to fold one of our flaps up. So we're still holding on here. It's a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you can do it rather quickly. And then we're just gonna come down like so. And grab your tape and tape it up, and then you have your wrap bar. So I'm gonna do one more with you guys, and then you're on your own. So here we go again. We have our um, we have our paper down. We're gonna fold in our bars. These actually, you wanna know what's funny? Is that they have quite a bit of air in it. I do so many party favors that I can tell when things are a little different. You can see that has a little bit of um, air in it and this one doesn't have that. So sometimes you might get a little bit more air in the package. So you need, might need to go a little tighter. It might feel a little looser. <clears throat> just play it by ear, ear. So again, I'm just making my indentation and then I'm flipping up and flipping over. And that is really it, you guys. It's really super simple. Tape it and then there you have it. Um, this one I didn't go as tight on the edge. So I would probably do that one again because I'm a little bit type A and that really is going to bother me, especially when we get to doing the purses. <laughs> so just make sure you get your technique and it's probably definitely because I'm showing you guys because when I do it on my own, I never usually have that problem. But of course, today when I'm doing the tutorial, it happens, but you know. So, okay, here we go. So the next part of the tutorial is assembling the bar and the chain to make it actually look like a purse. So here's the chain that I purchased and sometimes the links are bigger, sometimes I buy the links smaller. It all depends on what they have in stock. This actually, this chain is 10M and this is 10.9. I'm gonna use the 10.9 today. But sometimes I go um, much bigger than 10.9, so it all depends. But um, the chain isn't that expensive. It's about $9.99, and once you use your coupon at Michael's, it drops it down. So whether you have those 40 or 50% off coupons depends on what the price is going to be. I'm a little tangled up here. <clears throat> so I'm going to fix that. So you're going to need a ruler and um, your chain so on the inch side. I already know I make my chains around 11 inches um, just so they can have a little bit of hang in case someone wants to hang them. I um, use the bracelet racks and then I just like hang them and I'll show you guys a picture of that as well at the end. So I know I make mine about 11 inches. You can make yours longer or shorter depending on how much hang you need. Um, but I'm gonna stick with that. Now I have this little tool over here which I purchased from Michaels as well. It's in the bead department. And um, I use this to open up my chain. So um, instead of having to worry about having super sharp scissors to cut your chain, this tool makes it really easy. What you're gonna do is once I have it at 11 inches, I'm just gonna pinch it where it starts. And I'm gonna come and take this tool and grab it. And super simple, right? What it did is it didn't really snip it, but it kind of just opened up the link so that the chain, the other end of the chain was free. So that's it. Put my ruler away, I cut a piece before we started too. And I actually think that might be what's tangling up here. So I have my two pieces here and we're gonna get started. Okay, so I'm back. I had to let my glue gun heat up here. So I have that off to the side over here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble the candy bars. So I'm just gonna take my um, piece of chain here and um, set my wrapper to the side because I actually put my chains on first. So here's how I do it. 
just want to measure my wrapper a little bit so I know where to um, put my glue. This is actually the front here. So I know it comes in about this much on each side. So I'm going to put my glue in a little further. And I just make a little mark there. And then I just come in and put a tiny dab of glue on each side. And I take my chain, it's a little messy, but not really. And just take the other end and just press it into the glue. Make it a little messy, so you know you have to pull those um, glue strands. But at the end, you have your purse pretty much complete without the wrapper. But these aren't going anywhere. They can dangle and dangle, and um, they'll be fine if you're hanging them for a party. Just want to clean that up a little bit there. But for the most part, we are done. Now we're just going to go ahead and wrap the wrapper around the bar and finito. So from there, this is how this is how you wrap the bar. It's um, a little tricky as well because you're not just wrapping it straight around the bar. I'm just going to go ahead and grab my tape glider. You're going to go with the wrapper inside of the strap. Now that's so the strap won't show. And then once you're inside of the strap, you can flip your bar over and wrap as normal. So I kind of have a guide of where my um, bar, my wrapper starts and ends. And I just take my tape glider and run it across my bar and a little on my foil so that everything sticks together and then I just press closed. So there we go and the back says thank you. It has a cute little barcode and nutrition facts and then the front is the purse design. So that's pretty much it you guys. Um, I hope you learned a lot and you really enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, make sure you hit like and make sure you also hit subscribe so you can see more tutorials. I have a lot of fun Photoshop tutorials coming up. So make sure you click the bell after you click subscribe so that you can get notifications when my new tutorials come out. But that's the candy bar purses. They're really fun and cute and they make the most adorable party favor. Imagine handing these out at a fashion party um just someone who really is into fashion and loves purses they work for so many different events bridal showers birthday parties so that's pretty much it i can't wait to see your creations if you try the tutorial make sure you share it with us in party mavens and um i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching